It's your boy Boom, coming at you all with a brand new Supreme Dropless review. This week four on the website is kind of a snoozer. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, so I do appreciate everyone that pulled up on the channel yet again. For as slow as this season started out, I think it's gonna be a good thing in the long run because there's so many good things left to release. We have some crazy leaks. We've been seeing those Nike dunks. Oh my god, bro, those are gonna be a problem. So we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up, but let's talk about what's coming out this week. I already see something I've been eyeing all season long since the off season, so I'm gonna need to cop this. You guys probably know what it is. It's honestly, to me, the best item of the week, but let's get into talking about it. Drop a like if you do enjoy these videos. I'm actually kind of glad this week's a little slower because I have a ton of unboxings I need to catch up on. The FTP unboxing is gonna be coming up. Supreme week one as well. I'm gonna be filming both those videos this week, so you should be seeing them on the channel soon. Let's get in this drop list though. I hope you all do enjoy. So you guys already know what I'm gonna say, man. If you wanna join my private cook group browser, feel free to hit us up on Instagram. We'll get, we'll give some free seven day trials out if you guys do message us. Try out the group for yourself. I do a write up every week of the best items to go for, along with providing several other services that help you make money online. Let's get into talking about this week though. So you know it's a bad week when the number one upvoted item are some folding towels. Like what in the hell are we doing? I don't fully know the purpose of these towels either. It's called like a pocket folding towel. So like, is this supposed to go in your pocket? Like I, are they dish towels? I don't know. Somebody clue me in. I did see they're made in Japan. So I'm expecting the worst Supreme. Why do we always have to do this shit? I'm guessing they're just little dish towels. Um, so they shouldn't be that expensive. I'm hoping like 48 or something like that. And they don't look bad. It's a set of two basic branding, but like not a bad branding on these. So I think this is definitely like a cool little personal cop if you need something like this. For resale, uh, towels just never have profit. So unfortunately, this is gonna be a skip this week, but one of the items I could see some people picking up, but let's just, we're not even gonna bullshit, man. Let's talk about the item of the week, the Supreme Tamagotchi, man. With the camo hits, um, this is by far my favorite item coming out this week. If you had a Tamagotchi back in the day, let me know. This is definitely like a if you know, you know thing from early 2000s. I definitely had some Tamagotchis back in my day. I, I remember them even, bro. Like it's a vivid memory from my childhood. These used to be the shit. So seeing Supreme collab with them, Actually a pretty cool collaboration in my opinion. We got some nice camos. Of course, my favorite is gonna be the Brooklyn camo. I'm really glad to see them bringing that out. The pink is kinda hard. Um, I would've liked maybe a blue camo instead of the black and white, but we don't know retails yet. I, of course, <laughs> they're gonna drop retails right when I upload this. I'm hoping, similar to the dish towels, around 48. 38, I'd be happy with. Like 48 is tax for fucking Tamagotchi, man, but Supreme, you know Supreme, man. Oh, they even have voting for the colors. Tell me yellow is not number one upvoted. Wow. The yellow is the least upvoted. That's fuck what I know, bro. Um, the black is the most boring to me, so I'm kind of surprised by that. The pink is pretty hard. It's either between the pink or the yellow. Which one you guys think I should cop? Because it's definitely gonna be my cop of the week. You guys will definitely actually see me using this and everything, because I, I have nothing else to do with my life. I'm not having no kids or nothing, so I might as well get a Tamagotchi. And probably not really profit, unless it's like really cheap, like 28, but even then, not a lot of profit with this week in general. Um, next up, we also have the five piece tool set. And honestly, this isn't even a bad accessory in my opinion. Like there's actually a lot of tools in here to use. I won't be using none of them because I just make videos of fucking Supreme shit. I got no purpose for these, but I do think it's cool to have a whole set. We have Supreme little hits on every single tool as well. I already have like a little tool set, so I don't like have a purpose for this, but if you're like a new homeowner or something, this isn't bad to keep around the house. It's extremely hype beast and probably gonna be overpriced and it's not really gonna age too nicely just because this is the type of thing that just sits there and like no one really uses like that. Um, this is pretty skippable as well, but not a bad personal pickup. Oh, and that leaves us with the rest of these items, man. There's a lot of breakage here. Worldwide hooded sweatshirt, one of my least favorite hoodies from this season. Literally looks like it's straight out of Supreme Spain. Something with the font. I really just am not a fan of this one, so this is really skippable to me. We also have these Gradient Box Logo New Eras. Kind of a fun one, like I just, I do love Gradient a lot. Has the FUBU look to it. But I'm not really seeing much profit on these. They have like a little Super Bowl patch on the side, which is another cool hit. Um, but honestly, I'm gonna be skipping on these. You guys know the drill fit. It's maybe a size eight, like the blue or the black I would get. They're gonna be like 54. After all the fees, I don't think you'll make much unless you can get a really fast sale of a size eight. Um, small box striped sweater. This is honestly a pretty clean personal. I really like this green colorway. Like I, I love the pattern on this, honestly. Um, if this is an item that goes on sale at the end of the season, maybe you see me scoop to be honest, cause I actually think 
think they did this one pretty nicely, but for its actual retail, like 148, 158, it's not gonna be worth it. You gotta have some good knits in your closet. This is definitely one of those, so not a bad personal. It's gonna go on sale though, I would imagine. And now we have the flock denim, which is probably the most intriguing item of the week to me. Um, this is so bizarre. I've never heard of flocking print before this, which I always love when Supreme just is showing me new stuff. Kind of gives it like a shine almost, which I don't know if I like it or not, but I'm not mad about it. Like it's kind of cool to me. Um, the brown's definitely my favorite, but I, the red's actually kind of cool too. Definitely like a standout item. I feel like if you put this in a fit, it would be what shines in the outfit. So um, both the pants and the jacket, I definitely am a fan of, but for their retail price, I'm going to be skipping. You guys have been seeing me buy pants every single week. At the beginning of the year, I did like these in brown, but I've been buying way too many pants. I don't need more and I have plenty of brown pants. So these are going to be skippable for me. World famous micro hooded sweatshirt. Um, actually a pretty clean personal again, but uh, I don't know. You're just paying too much money for such a basic little small logo. Clean personal. I don't really love the colorway choices on this. This is going to be a skip. The block arc short sleeve top. I actually really like the colors they use and the different prints on this. Um, going to be a skip though. Just, I don't know. Going to be too expensive. And let's talk about these leather items because this is another one of my favorite items of the week now. <sighs> <sighs> patchwork and leather like those are just two words that equal extremely expensive retail I would guess these vests are like 268 at least so that's a bummer because I actually really enjoy them I think the whole um, leather look this season with both the pants and this vest is really clean if it was faux fur uh, maybe there'd be a chance of me copping but yeah these are both gonna be skips um the vest and the pants again good personals not quite gonna be worth the retail though the city patches six panel this one is interesting like I feel like this definitely meets the kind of grunge vibe that's going on in streetwear right now just like a bunch of old English patches stacked on top of each other definitely kind of gives it like a punk look I get is that corny to say maybe it's actually kind of cool um, I especially like this supreme patch on the bill but no I'm not gonna be copping these there maybe is like a sneaky chance these somehow have profit like for instance those ATV panel hats those aged really well actually because they had a bunch of patches on them to be fair they were a lot cleaner than this so I'll be skipping black kind of does have a chance like this is one of those sleeper items that all of a sudden you see it months later and you're like damn that's at like 90 to 100 bucks now but I think it's skippable it's not worth the risk because really I would not be going too hard this week um the work pants another really nice personal these are usually cheaper I like this plaid on the right that's definitely my favorite print the gray is also kind of nice like if I were to buy these for myself so again these are going to be skips but I do like that plaid pattern a lot metallic long sleeve top uh no I'm just not really a fan of these at all um those are going to be skipped the croc patchwork short sleeve shirt this looks I don't know about this one, bro. Not really liking those patches. And then the crochet edge hat at the very bottom. You already know Tremaine thought he was snapping when he made this. I see him wearing a lot of crochet stuff and like bucket hats, sun hats, whatever you want to call this style. I'm sure we'll see him rocking this in some spot, but um, this whole bell top hat style, like I, you would never catch me in one of these. I would look so goofy in it. Like I look goofy in every hat I wear, but this would be astronomically bad. So these are going to be skips. It's kind of a terrible week. I ain't going front. Um, yeah, so I, that's why I appreciate y'all pulling up on the video, man. I'm actually glad, like I said, because I have a lot of videos to get done for y'all. Last week, I made like three or four videos in a row, so I didn't have time to film the unboxing yet. Actually, let me know, I guess, FTP or Supreme Unboxing first. I actually have no idea which one to record first. One of those is going to get recorded tomorrow, though, Wednesday. And yeah, you guys will see it later this week. It's been your boy, Boone. I hope y'all did enjoy, man. Let me know if you're going to cop anything. It's Tamagotchi season for me, I suppose. But yeah, I'll see y'all later. I'm out. Peace.